Hey there everybody, in this video we're going to talk about Instagram TV. I'm going to show you step by step how to upload Instagram TV files so that you can add shows to IGTV. Let's get into today's video. It's going to be a quick walkthrough. It's very, very simple, but I think Instagram TV is a great strategy. So let's get into it here. Hey there everybody, my name is Brandon Bershears and I create daily marketing videos. So if you're looking to grow your business with digital marketing, I talk about everything from Facebook to Instagram to SEO to PPC ads, basically anything related to digital marketing, I talk about it here on this channel. So if you're looking to improve your business, this is a great place you should consider subscribing. All right, so let's talk about Instagram TV. Now, just recently, I would say about two weeks ago from the filming of this video, uh, Instagram released that they're going to be working more on trying to get Instagram TV to become a viable platform. So for this reason, I think that it is good to test out Instagram TV for your business, especially if you have a heavy Instagram uh, following and if you're putting a lot of work into Instagram, I think that this works well. Anytime that Facebook, which owns Instagram, puts out new features, and they are trying to build out features or build out popularity of certain features, they typically reward those features with better organic distribution. An example of that is Facebook's uh, live stream. When they announced live stream, it was a lot easier to get organic distribution. And when you did pay for ads, it was very cheap to get views on, on live video. So that being said, um, Instagram has said, hey, we're gonna be pushing this out. They've just released a new feature where when you upload a post into IGTV, it then gets put into your feed. And before I was testing this before, so I was taking these videos that I'm making here on YouTube, exporting them in landscape mode. So it does have to be exported so that it's landscape. There's a few things that you can do. You can either twist it so that it's sideways and export it so that people have to watch it in portrait or so they have to flip the phone and, and watch it. Or you can just export it and have black bars on the top. That's what I've been doing. But before the announcement, I was seeing that I would get basically no engagement on the videos that I was posting in IGTV. And since their engagement, seriously, it's been 10 to 20 times of views per video. So I was seriously getting probably seven or eight views. I wasn't putting much attention into it. And since then, I've been getting hundreds of views on my IGTV videos. Now, I don't necessarily have tremendous watch time, which is pretty indicative of Facebook and Instagram, but I still think that this is a good profile, a good strategy for your Instagram profile to get more views and engagement, especially when Facebook and Instagram have been saying that they, they want to be promoting this. It totally makes sense because they are trying to create more spots to get attention, to get engagement, so that they can increase their user, user times and also increase the spots that they have to sell ad space. So it totally makes sense why they want you to be using IGTV. They're definitely coming, um, trying to compete with YouTube and other channels, so um, it totally makes sense. So let's jump into the computer here. I'm gonna show you exactly how to upload the videos and it's very, very simple. Um, I'll also show you how to make a thumbnail and one quick tip for that, just after this tutorial. All right, so to get an Instagram TV story on, you have to put it on desktop. You can't, I'm not sure if you can. You probably can some way, but the workflow that I have, I'm using desktop. So you head over, over to your profile. So you log into Instagram, you click your profile button. You then scroll down here to IGTV. This is on desktop. Now, a few things that you want to note. See how I made these thumbnails inside of Canva? Um, Initially, I set it so that the text was at the top. The text should be at the middle so that when you post it to your posts, I'll show you here what I mean by that. See how it's cut off here? That's one thing that you want to do. I learned that uh, the hard way because it wasn't working. So this time I've created a thumbnail with the text in the middle. This is what it is. So this will be showing up instead of it getting cut off. So heading on over back here, we're going to go to IGTV. We're going to hit upload. We're going to add the folder, uh, add the file this mp4 file it has to be less than 10 minutes is one thing to note so here we go and then we're going to add the cover photo so this is in my downloads i'm going to add the canva file so if you don't use canva you should definitely check it out let's see here okay and there it is so now we add the title i like to add the title and i like to add hashtags into the page I'm going to add my Facebook page as well here so that I get more distribution. And I think this is going to be solid. So I'll share with you what this looks like here. Um, 
should you use a landing Okay, and as I was working on this, I realized it was the different video. So this one's how to create automatic retargeting lists. So in this video, I go over how to create... Um, Thank goodness for Grammarly. And uh, Now, I don't know for sure that these hashtags make a difference in IGTV. I don't know if that's necessarily something that's legit. Anyways, but when I click share to preview feed, this does get put into the description here. So I'm going to connect the page here and add it to my Maverick Digital Marketing page. I'm not sure where this is actually going to end up here. I've never done this for uh, a page, obviously. So I'm connecting it as we go. We're going boldly going where we've never gone before. Connect the page. And we're going to post it and see what happens here. So, boom, we got this. It's not ready yet. There it is. Beauty. Right there. So, we have posts. Let's refresh this. It should have posted. There it is. So, see how that's different this time? It shows the text in the middle. That's solid. All right, so let's head back into the um, office here. I'm going to tell you one last secret that you should know about and consider here. Okay, so the last thing that I want to mention is that in the thumbnail, if you're going to be sharing these into your feed, it's going to give you a square. So if you make your thumbnail portrait and you put all kinds of writing on it, it's going to cut it off so that only the center is shown. So you're going to want to make sure to make the center of your thumbnail be the focus, especially if you're sharing it in your news feed on Instagram. So um, not news feed, but your Instagram feed. So if you have any questions or comments or need help with anything, please comment below. And if, as always, uh, you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and please consider subscribing. So thanks so much. Have a great day and I'll see you on tomorrow's video.